Oh my goodness. Good morning guys. Welcome to Monday. It is Monday and oh, I am tired already. It's t I'm tired. My oh. dog was waiting for me. I know. Like you guys don't know how much of a love that Dalmatian is. She is just the sweetest dog. She worries about people. Like she thinks about other people besides herself. She's just like Sophie. She waits for me. Yeah, Gabby. You and I have a job to do <laughs> before our horses can go out. Yeah, you're not as bad because you got a good grooming the other day. Of course. Come on. Come on, come on, Romeo. Do you guys remember when Gabby used to ride uh, Ruby all the time? Romeo. She used to pretend she was a horse and she used to stand Romeo. above her. <laughs> this is a storm horse. Just backs up when you sit on it. And then when I try to get off and walk her, She's like, I'm so confused. <laughs> so I've got to get on her and hold her. <laughs> or hold her. There you go. The horses are groomed. Oh. We are ready. How do you know uh, a girl with glasses has cleaned her horse, Twisted. has groomed her horse? Because she suddenly can't see all the, all the dust on her eyes, on her glasses. Wow, Gracie, you be looking cute. <laughs> There you go. Do we have to go outside? Little treat. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Penny. Ears, Penny. Ears. Put those ears forward. Oh, good boy. Good girl. I don't feel safe. Oh, give me a break. It's true, though. When you got a mini and a, po and a horse and a pony and a carrot. Here, I got treats for you, too. work for her. So uh, we were out, where were we? Oh, when we were at the beach, my sister had to pick something up and I told her I'd leave it in the barn for her. So I left it in the barn and she told, she texted me a picture later and she was standing here in the arena and all three of the horses were right in front of her. Like they don't even know her. They don't know her. I'm like great guard horses that we have. She said, yeah, she just walked out here. She had her son with her. She just walked out here and all the horses were like out in the field. And as soon as they saw them coming in the barn, they ran into the arena and like surrounded them in happiness. Our girls literally are the friendliest it horses. Rolls. They're just so friendly. Can you move your head? You think Willow's gonna roll? Like Don't roll today, okay? Because it's hard work cleaning you. It's not hard for me, my horse has a blanket if on. If you wear glasses, then you might be able to see that. I can't even see out of my glasses from all the dirt that I pulled out of Penny. Can I try? Give me your glasses. Give me your glasses. I need to go get new, new glasses. It's my goal. I can't see through them, period. <laughs> yep, she's gonna roll. Good, roll in here. Roll in here. Yeah. is that ever since our t horses got their teeth done, they haven't actually, like, Penny's not eating every single bite of her food. Where is it, Sophie? It's right here. You guys have been getting Gracie more food. No, we have, no, like, their grain. Oh, well, it's all her grain. Oh, okay. Isn't he all right? Yeah, Dad, Dad gives them too much. But yeah, Penny, like, ever since she got her teeth done again, She's got her teeth done two times in six months. I don't know if that makes a difference. She's not eating it all. I try to hand feed it to her. It could be something in there that she doesn't like, but she was not that interested. On earth? We need food, you guys. We need food. Oh, I'm not hungry. I'm dying of energy, energy loss. It's gorgeous out here though, isn't it? Molly. Mild? We are still waiting on summer, you guys. We're hoping it comes soon. There's so much we can do and so much we want to do, but there's no warmth for it, but that's okay. Things are happening. I've been making plans, you guys. I have a lot of fun lockdown stuff that we're gonna get to do until the end of this month. We're supposed to come out of lockdown at the end of May, but it's based on if enough people are vaccinated, but I have a feeling that they're going to add on to the lockdown. That's what they've said, that they're gonna lock down, they're gonna add on to the lockdown. It doesn't matter. 
I've got a lot planned, a lot of fun things that we can still do. Here's a quick look at our vegetables that are starting to grow. Everything's just starting to really come up. What were these? Do you remember? Cucumbers. Our cucumbers are, are getting huge, you guys. I turn right, this go every pull day. The car out front. Yeah, go pull the car out up front. So I turn these around every day so that they fall because they follow the sun. And I want them to be nice, tall, straight up plants. So that really helps. Over here we have some other plants that oh, are growing. We've got eggplant and squash and Carrot. carrots and celery. This is cauliflower. This needs a little bit of water, but interesting. The trouble is that we don't have a garden ready yet. And I need to get that done but it's gonna rain for the next three days. I have faith because summer comes every year regardless. All right, so we are on the run today on the road. So the girls are bringing a school with them and Gabby's going out to drive the car up to the house so we don't have to walk far. So the girls are gonna give each other spelling tests while we drive. Uh, Gabby's gonna read Sophie's and Sophie's gonna read Gabby's. Here you go, here you go. <laughs> also, I just wanted to say, that it is Mother's Day week! It is Mother's Day on Sunday! <laughs> I'm excited, you guys. So I just said to Sam, the best thing about Mother's Day is that I married him and found him and so grateful to have him. You guys have no idea how. Mom. Uh, yeah, I want the gift. Yeah, he's like, stop, you want the gift? Yeah, I see it, I see there's a box. There's a box. Yeah, there is a gift. But my favorite thing about Mother's Day is that it's all about me. So I get to do all the things I want and they kind of, I don't I think I get you to. You already do that. Yeah. <laughs> Every, day. Every day is Mother's Day. It's true, <laughs> but it's more relaxing. Like, I don't know. There's just a spell that comes over Mother's Day and I like that they help me clean and I like that they like, they help me. It's the doing of stuff for me more than the giving of presents that really you make. I do stuff for you. Yeah, I do stuff for you too though. Oh. Anyways, it's Mother's Day week. Comment below if you're a mom, what's your favorite part of Mother's Day? And comment below if you're somebody uh, celebrating with a mom, what is your favorite thing to do for your mom? Because it's a special day. Right, so this is our first stop. I stopped to pick up this Metronidazole. I don't even know how to say it. Anyway, this is Penny's. <laughs> These are her antibiotics. Sylvie just said, how do you give them to her? I don't know, holy heck. Oh, it says give 27 tablets orally. Two times daily. 27 <laughs> tablets? What the heck? 27 tablets orally two times a day for five days and then once daily for five days and then every other day for three doses. The tablets can be crushed and mixed with water to administer orally via syringe. 27 tablets. So if anybody's wondering what this is for, it's basically for, uh, she has free fecal water, which is just something some horses have, some horses are more prone to. We do a lot of things to try and prevent it, like give her uh, pre and probiotics. Um, I know other horses that have it. Basically, it means that she has loose runny poop and uh, some horses have like runny poop all the time so if your horse is just having like always having loose poop then your horse might have it or if your horse has like normal poop but a little bit of like watery poop at the beginning or at the end and she that's what she has she doesn't have runny poop she just has like a little bit of yucky at the beginning and the end and and she gets dirty in the back. So she's like dirty in the back. And he said that um, it's seasonal, which I've noticed. Like I feel like it is a winter thing and that the cure is antibiotics. So we're gonna try it and we're gonna see. She, she, it's not as bad right now as it has been, but it has not fully gone away. So we're gonna try 27 pills twice a day. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Next stop is our local tax store. We need shavings. Our stores are curbside pickup, so you phone ahead, you pay ahead, and then you just stop and pick it up. This is what I need. Ah, it's like Jenga. Ugh.
We did it. We got eight. Also, they have all these different water troughs. That's a that's a swimming pool. That'd be fun, huh? That's a huge one. They also have all these hay feeders there, which are super cool. Like they have a lot of stuff here, you guys. So, and they have mats for your stove. Over here is their round pens. And then those, I don't know what those are. I guess those are round pen panels or fence panels. I don't know. Super cool. So that's it. <laughs> that's it for that. Whew. Did you even put the seat back from one guy? I got this? soaked. No. Yeah. I got soaked. Like my hands are frozen just because it's wet out there. It's not too bad. Like it's warm, but I'm wet. No. I got wet from lifting the shavings. Okay. Cool. So are we going to the grocery store? We are all stocked up on shavings. So we had eight bags will last us for a week. And each stall gets about three bags. So that's how we do shavings, you guys. Gabby's driving, Gabby's driving me back up to the house, finish school, and then we gotta go to the boys. Actually, I have parked funny so that you have to like back up and do fancy maneuvers to get us home. You feeling brave? Gabby has a Good at mind for driving, you guys. We're backing up. We're backing up. Shh. Don't want to go down the ditch. Yell. Don't want to go down the ditch. But we might go into the tree. Oh, I back up, back up, back up! You're killing my tree. And the bikes. We hate those trees. Yeah, we hate those trees. Let's just take them out. The trees were fun. We were going to get the bikes. So yesterday, Sam and I went to a to an open house for another farm. I was not going to tell you guys because we haven't really decided. It's kind of in our price range. It's a little more than our price range, but we could probably swing it. I'll show you a picture if I can find one. But we went to this open house and. We like it a lot. It has everything that we need. The house is smaller than I wanted and it's outdated. That's the biggest thing, I guess. So, like the house is not what I wanted, but it would do. And, you can just park right here. And, but. But I back up. Okay. But the farm is everything that, that we needed. It has, it has a gorgeous, indoor arena it has a ginormous outdoor arena it has four or five five it's five huge paddocks grass paddocks it has all the hay you could need it's almost 100 acres it's completely private and it's completely set up as a horse farm um but anyway we went and we looked at it we're still deciding we're probably not going to buy it for the one big reason it's not the area that we want to be in so like we could put up with the not like the house is not the way we would want it we'd have to renovate the house which is it's whatever but the only big thing is that it doesn't have it's not in the area we want to be in like unless we're close our trainer it's gonna our trainers it's really gonna be hard like to get lessons and we need lessons lord knows we need lessons we stopped at the grocery store and gabby got this iced coffee mocha iced coffee so basically we don't have to go to tim hortons and get her a drink all the time guys we found ourselves a new border collie look at him i stopped he ran in front of the car he's been running down the road and i stopped the he car Anyways, he stopped and he ran to the car door and I was like, Gabby, quick, does he need help? And she's like, no, he lives there. I don't know where he's going. Did he get free, do you think? No, he's always running around. Maybe he's getting help from his, for his owner. No. It's bizarre. Not. Like, I don't want to go. He's probably going in that field right now. I don't want to pass him. I don't want to pass him in case he runs out in front of me. And God would kill me. No, see? he's probably turning right. No, see, he's going to run out in front of me. No, he's turning right. All right, turn right, little, little boy. Turn right. Oh, there he is. He's home. It was out chicken catching. <laughs> That's where his owner is. We're going this way. I'm bringing, I'm bringing a blanket to put on one of them. Well, Storm's feeling good, you guys. He already spotted us. He's out there getting ready to run. Gabby, put your hand out because he knows we give treats now. 
wish you had to carry treats because he's good now. Oh, so good. Okay, so I don't know if I've kept you guys uh, in the loop, but it's working. It's like massively working, giving them treats every single time we come to the field. He's, they're getting it. Like, we never had to do that before. Good boy. Gabby's all happy. Woohoo, I got my boy. Yes. Good boy. Always coming. Yeah. Oh, and horsey number two is coming. Hope she has a treat for him, too. All right, so that's all we had to do. Like, I thought that's all we had to do, but it wasn't working at first. I was just explaining to Sophie that you have to give him treats even if he just comes to you because the treats this time will will make him come the next time. So, yeah. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad we fixed that. This blanket is almost toast, you guys. It's got straps breaking. It's got no tail flap. But it's going to hold out for one more rain. Right? One more rain? All right, I got to go see what the girls are doing. I'll see you guys. See you in a little while. You doing good? Oh, uh, Storm's feeling frisky. It's the first time in a couple of weeks that I've seen him frisky. <laughs> These are the boots. These are the boots that are not supposed to come off, you guys. I just happened upon it. Bye, Chino. We'll be back. Oh. I don't know what happened, but both bell boots missing. I'll have to find the other because... You know what happened? He what? probably got all slippery. And then he's he just... feeling good. That's what happened. He's feeling good. He probably good. got all slippery with the mud and then it just slid off. Yeah, so if you guys missed... If you guys missed me talking about uh, Storm's back in the last video, this is uh, this is him having tape on his back. Sorry. Basically, his back got really tight. We had some issues with uh, making the change from one farrier to another. Just a few minutes to take, just a little bit of time to take to see what Storm needed. You know why Storm probably ran? To show Gabby that he was okay so that he, he, would, he would go. No, when he first he saw us. All the attention. Yeah. Literally, when I go to catch him sometimes, he runs around and makes me follow him. But then when I don't follow him, he stands there and waits for me to come. And then once he sees me coming towards him, he runs again. Didn't he look excited this time? Like, he was like, yes, they're here! Yeah. And he was like so excited and he just wanted to come with and us. And then Donnie reared at him. Yeah, then he was rearing. Yeah. Oh, he looks be looking good, you guys. Because he was acting like a baby brain. Why was he acting like a baby brain? Because Storm left him. Oh. I just brush all the dried mud off. She just gets a hard brush and brushes off all that hard mud, dried up mud. better. Yeah. Update on Stormy's tail and bum. If you guys didn't know, I caused him to have a big raging rash of rain rot because I put too much oil on his on his tail when it was dried out and it spread and made him get all all his blocked all of his pores and he just broke out into a big rash or he just broke out into a bunch of peeling skin and it's all healed and his hair's grown back. It's gonna be the boy we know and love soon. Everything's fixed on him. I feel like Gabby's so used to riding Chino now that Storm moves so differently, it's hard for her to understand. Like, it's hard to go back. Found my pestle and mortar, which is gonna make smushing Penny's medicine a lot easier. Putting it in her food? No, you have to put it in a syringe and put it in her mouth. Yeah, yeah this is hard, you guys. What a dumb way to give horses medicine, though. Like, honestly. Can I do it? I can do it better with two hands. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can yeah. I do it? Can I have to do that every day for five days, twice a day, and then I have to wean her down. Oh, careful. Don't, don't fling it out. I don't love giving horses antibiotics. Every time we've given Storm these, and I've, we've had friends that have given their horses these, they always, like, get crazy, like, rearing and acting weird and stuff, like they're hallucinating or something. So it's not my favorite thing, but she has to get them. She has to take them. And just like that, it's done, you guys. Comment below what you guys think about the farm. Would you move if you found the perfect farm, but not the perfect house and not the perfect location? Or would you hold out and wait for the perfect farm, the perfect house, and the perfect location? Let me know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?